Fury isn't about being fearless. And it's not just about taking risks. Oh, being brave is about finding the courage. Oh my goodness! To overcome your fears. To any kids out there who have any setbacks in their lives, just wait for it. It will be over soon, and then you can do anything. And it's about achieving your goals, no matter how big they seem. I'm the smallest kid in school, and people tease me for it, but just because I'm little, it doesn't mean that I'm not strong. And he's going to get it! Some will win, and some will lose. Oh! But as long as you never give up... Smile, dry off, and we'll go practice. You can all be... Oh! Are you kidding me? Ninja Warriors! Oh! and the qualifying rounds of American Ninja Warrior Junior right here on Universal Kids. And later, it's time for the 11 and 12 and 13 and 14 year olds to rip up the course. Plus, we'll meet big game Tate Allen, who trains back home with the Ninja Legend when American Ninja Warrior Junior returns. Let's meet the first two ninjas competing in the 11 and 12 qualifier. It's 12-year-old Blaze Kamaka from Orlando, Florida, and 11-year-old Tate Allen out of Woodstock, Georgia. And for Tate, he's come a long way to step onto this ninja course. I was eight years old when I discovered that I had a knee tumor. It's very difficult for me. Whenever I put pressure on my knee, it really hurt. Tate's knee tumor got worse and worse and really started limiting his activity. Uh, so we had the surgery. I was pretty upset about that because I would have to miss a whole season of basketball and I couldn't do Ninja Warrior. But I decided to have it removed. After I had my knee tumor removed, I had to rest a lot. I couldn't do anything. It was really hard seeing all my friends playing outside. I knew I just got to wait and keep pushing myself forward. As soon as I got my cast off, then I was just very happy. After I recovered, I got the opportunity to train with Ryan Stratus. He helped me so much. Tate had to stay off that leg for like six or eight months. To see him where he's at now, you wouldn't even know he had to have that surgery. To any kids out there who have any setbacks in their life, just wait for it. It will be over soon, and then you can do anything. Incredible journey. And the only thing in Tate's way right now is this course. You know, Matt, I was watching them warm up, and they can move. This one is definitely going to come down to who can avoid the costly mistakes. Yeah, got it. Come on. Blaze quick out of the gate. Tate now playing catch up. And Blaze is blazing to start. But Tate catching up. These two are fast. Yeah, and these two are making the course look like a cakewalk. Nice, Blaze. Come on, Tate. Well, this is where Kamaka has that four inch reach advantage. But Allen. Ooh, match nice first off. off. Okay, big game, Tate. Who's going to lache better? Right onto the flywheels, wow. Matt. Hit that middle seat. Nice. Now, watch this dismount. The fastest competitors are doing this in a single move. Nice. Oh, 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 Blaze is down. What do you think Ryan Stratus would be thinking of you? Oh! Yeah! Ah! <laughs> there it is, the Stratus yell from his protege. Tate Allen oh, kept boy. the pressure on, came from behind. What a victory for the young man out of Georgia. Yeah, it was, Matt. And let's look at this dismount from Tate on ring toss. Blaze is using his massive wingspan to pull ahead until Tate says, uh-uh, that's a nine-foot lache right there. That means my man could have jumped over the hood of a car. And we'll see both of these guys later. Coming up, 
It's the next 11 and 12 year old knockout break. Welcome back to American Ninja Warrior Jr. While we were away, one of the Mirror Twins, Brooke Redman, went up against Tate Allen in their knockout race. Tate began the race like he was shot out of a cannon. Look at that boy go! And the fastest ninja so far in this age group kept his foot on the accelerator all the way to the buzzer. It came Tate! But Brooke never gave up, getting her second buzzer of the day and finished with a smile. So that means it'll be a rematch between speedster Tate Allen and the showman Blaze Kamaka to see who moves on to the semifinals. Welcome back to American Ninja Warrior Jr. and the showdown for the semifinals. Just when you thought you couldn't handle any more action, it's time to find out which junior ninjas are moving on from each age group. Next up, our 11 and 12 year olds have a rematch. Well, this promises to be another electric final round qualifying matchup. 11-year-old Tate Allen, one of the speed demons in this age group, matching up against 12-year-old Blaze Kamaka. And Akbar, these two matched up in the first round. Blaze had an early lead, Tate caught up and finished. But these two were very evenly matched. Anything can happen here. And let me tell you something. These two are fast. Tate's dismounts have been epic. And Blaze is really comfortable using his reach to help him speed through the course. <laughs> Oh, here they go, and Blaze is out ahead, he goes. This is looking similar to their first race, Blaze out ahead, but then Tate took a lead on the ring toss with a huge dismount. Let's see if that's the case here again. You know, Blaze knows what Tate's capable of here. All right, come on, oh, oh, he missed it. Watch Tate here. Oh, what a dismount. Oh, H2O, Blaze is down, but he saved it. Blaze tried to match the dismount, couldn't pull it off, but he stayed alive, soaking wet. It's not over. It ain't over. Don't look back, big game, Tate. And Tate's got to get up the wall. The pressure's on. He's got to hit it. He's got to hit it. Big game, Tate delivers. Oh, wow. Come on, boys. Come on. We know it's not easy to get up the wall with wet feet. Oh, oh. well, great race out of place. So it's Tate Allen who wins the final qualifying round. Great job. Let me see you, Stratus, one more time for your boy. Oh. Was Tate's enormous dismount off the ring toss that gave him the advantage, and he was up and over the wall in no time. Ah! Well, Tate Allen is the fastest kid we've seen so far in this age group, and he's definitely earned his place in the 11 and 12 semifinals. Major congrats to Zach Keenan, Tate Allen, and Blake Hero for advancing to the semifinals. What a fierce group.